The Age Old Debate Books vs. Movies. First came the book, then came the movie, and now here's a debate over which one is better. Today, we'll be hearing arguments from two teams. Let's start with the team that recommends reading the book version of a story. Thank you very much. Books provide hours, days, and sometimes weeks of quality entertainment. The power of reading is in being able to lose yourself in another world. Readers can get into the mind of the writer and characters and experience new, exciting things at their own pace. You also get a much more detailed version of the story than the one a movie gives you. For example, in the movie Twilight, the scene when Bella realizes that Edward has superpowers is much less dramatic than in the book. Like many other movies, this one also leaves out some important parts from the book, such as the story of how Alice became a vampire. The book team makes an interesting point. But is so much detail always necessary to tell a great story? The time investment that goes into reading is too large. Watching the movie version is a much more efficient use of time. In today's busy world, it's hard to find enough time for reading. Why spend hours reading all 734 pages of the book Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire when the movie slims down the plot into just 157 minutes of easy viewing? Sure, some parts have been combined or shortened, but the screenwriters took a lot of time trying to decide how to summarize the story without losing any of its magic. Movies do try hard to summarize stories. But that means when you watch a movie, you're only seeing the screenwriter's and director's vision of the story. However, when you read a book, you get to use your own imagination and create your own perfect version of the story in your head. What you imagine is not limited by computerized special effects. It can be very disappointing when a filmmaker's vision varies greatly from your own. Many people felt this way about the movie version of The Chronicles of Narnia, The Lion, The Witch, and The Wardrobe. They thought the Hollywood style representation of some of the characters was too shallow and failed to show the philosophy behind the story. Actually, plenty of movies ask the audience to consider deep philosophies. The fact of the matter is that a picture is worth a thousand words. Emotions build up inside you slowly while you read long descriptions of scenes in books. It makes it harder to get involved in the plot than seeing it in a movie. On the other hand, movies help us to feel instantly the same as the character. In addition, one of the most exciting things about watching the movie version of a book is getting to see actors bring the characters to life. In fact, movies give the viewer concrete, realistic images of the characters, situations, and actions in the story in a way that can never be experienced by reading a book. Perhaps it is exciting to see the actors, but in a book, readers can choose what the character looks like. Having more freedom and choice is one of the best parts about books. Another advantage of reading books is the freedom readers have to pace their reading. They can easily pause or take a break to think about what they read, and they can even go back over a scene without really spoiling the flow of the story. Readers can take their time when they want to enjoy a particular scene or bit of dialogue. Also, a book can be put down for a while and come back to later without disrupting the reader's sense of continuity. Since reading is usually an individual activity, you don't have to worry about disturbing anyone else if you want to take a break. Then again, part of what makes watching a movie great is sharing the experience with others. When you're reading a novel, you often want to share your reactions to the story with other people. But you can't do this unless they've read the book. As you mentioned, reading is something we do individually. But is that always a positive thing? When you watch a movie with someone, you can share your comments right away. It's a lot of fun to watch a movie with your friends or family members. Plus, there's something magical about watching a film for the first time in a movie theater 
filled with people who are also seeing it for the first time. Well, we've heard some excellent arguments from both sides of this debate, and it seems impossible to say for certain whether books or movies are the better choice. I guess I'd recommend both, but you'll have to make your own decision about whether to read the book, see the movie, or both.